The Vietnam War started during World War I. Vietnam was under French control for most of the 19th century until it was invaded by the Japanese on September 22, 1940. Tired of the country not being in control of itself, the politician Ho Chi Minh formed a small group of rebel fighters called the League of Independence of Vietnam, after seeing the success of the Russian and Chinese Communist Revolution. When Japan was defeated on September 2, 1945, Ho Chi Minh took over the northern city of Hanoi and declared the creation of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam with Ho as president. In response, France declared the creation of the state of Vietnam with Saigon as the capital and Emperor Bao Dai as the leader. On May 7, 1954, after the Battle of Dien Bien Phu, the state of Vietnam declared defeat to the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. However, on October 26, 1955, the anti-communist Ngo Dien Diem succeeded Emperor Bao and became president of the government of the Republic of Vietnam. Okay, now let's talk about the important stuff, like when America. joined the war. America. Officially joined the war in August of 1964 after the USS Maddox was allegedly attacked by a North Vietnamese torpedo boat patrol. After this, Congress passed the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution, which authorized the president to take all necessary measures, including the use of armed force, against any enemy in the Vietnam conflict temporarily. Some of the weapons used by the U.S. were the Remington 870, the M1 Garand, the M16, the M60, the M202 Flash, and the M55 Quad Machine Gun. For vehicles, the U.S. had the Bell UH-1, the Huey, the Bell AH-1 Cobra, the Sikorsky HH-3E, nicknamed the Jolly Green Giant, the M4 Patton Tank, the AC-130 Spectre, and the B-52 Stratofortress. Meanwhile, for weapons, Northern Vietnam had the AK-47, the RPG-2, the SA-7 Grail, and the Mazen Nagat. For vehicles, the North Vietnamese had the Type 59 tank, the Type 60 artillery, and the PT-76 amphibious tank, all of which were lent to Vietnam by China and Russia. On March 2, 1965, Operation Rolling Thunder started, where most of North Vietnam and the Ho Chi Minh Trail were bombed continuously for three years with over 643,000 tons of bombs dropped in total. Operation Starlight took place on August 17, 1965. This was the first major ground offensive in the war. Operation Starlight was by the U.S. Marines and the 1st Viet Cong Regiment, which lasted six days. The U.S. Marines won, but the defused Viet Cong Regiment rebuilt a short time later. In the first large-scale battle of the war, the Battle of La Durang Valley, the U.S. deployed and withdrew soldiers by helicopter. Around 300 U.S. soldiers were killed, and around 500 were injured. Both sides declared victory. On January 31, 1968, the North Vietnamese and the Viet Minh launched the Tet Offensive. They attacked more than 100 cities and outposts across South Vietnam, including Hue, Saigon, and the U.S. Embassy. The U.S. public is shocked by the abruptness and the slaughter in the cities. On March 31, 1958, President Johnson heavily reduces the bombing in Vietnam north of the 20th parallel, essentially stopping Operation Rolling Thunder. In December of 1969, the U.S. government institutes the first draft lottery since World War II. In 1969 through 1972, the Nixon administration gradually reduces the number of U.S. forces in South Vietnam and begins Vietnamization, where the U.S. trains South Vietnamese troops to fight for themselves. On March 30th, 1972, the North Vietnamese launched a large-scale, three-pronged attack called the Easter Offensive against South Vietnam and the U.S. to force them back. Despite the fact that the North pushed back the South and the U.S., they felt that the operation had failed because they thought that the South wasn't pushed back far enough. In response, President Nixon launches Operation Linebacker, 
on May 9, 1972, which was the most intensive air attack in the war, with over 20,000 tons of bombs dropped on places with high populations in North Vietnam. Operation Linebacker was considered to be more intense than Operation Rolling Thunder because Operation Stop was frequently interrupted and spread out, whereas O-P-E-R-A-T-I-O-N L-I-N-E-B-A-C-K-E-R was consistent and concentrated. On January 27, 1973, U.S. President Nixon signs the Paris Peace Accords, which state that the U.S. will no longer play an active role in the Vietnam War. Throughout February and April of 1973, the North Vietnamese returned U.S. soldiers from POW camps. On April 30th, 1975, the capital of South Vietnam fell to the North Vietnamese forces in what is known as the Fall of Saigon, officially bringing an end to the Vietnam War. After the end of the war, the U.S. stated that around 58,000 Americans lost their lives. Vietnam would later release estimates that 1.1 million North Vietnamese and Viet Cong fighters were killed, and nearly 250,000 South Vietnamese soldiers died and that around 2 million civilians were killed on both sides of the war. The Vietnam War is one of the few wars that the U.S. has lost since its creation on July 4, 1776. If you think that the U.S. doesn't lose, that's the same thing as saying, I didn't lose, I simply failed to win in a two-person race. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.